So, Overlord is a crossover. It's something, isn't it? I was going to go throughout this whole crossover, doing what I usually do, you know, making showcases, enjoying it, doing my thing. But I recently started to do the Shaltair Showcase, which is what you guys are going to be seeing in the background. And I will tell you right now, it really wasn't that fun. Yeah, like I didn't really enjoy doing it at all. By the way, this wasn't going to be the only showcase I was going to do for Shaltier. I was going to do a Shaltier showcase for her right now with the current state that we have. And then later, whenever she got fully awoken, I was going to actually show her off again. However, about 30 minutes into recording towards like the end of the video, I got to the point where I was just like, yeah, this isn't that fun to me. I'm not really enjoying myself and I kind of don't want to make this video be an actual thing anymore, which I haven't had that happen in a very long time in Grand Summoners. And I don't think it's for any specific reason that I was feeling this way. I feel like it was a bunch of different reasons just piled on top of each other. Pretty much one thing led to another, led to another, and then, you know, here we are. Since I went from recording a whole weeks of videos within two days for my vacation, which that was extremely tiring, then the War God Finn stuff happened. By the way, I just want to say the way how they handled that entire release and everything they did with it was really great. And then I got sick, which really sucked, and it kind of just you know, threw me completely out of loop. And there was this surprise announcement of Overlord coming out of nowhere. I was like, oh, okay. Then we got the news that it wasn't going to be an awakening with Shaltier. And then the crossover comes out. The animations are bugged. Everybody's asking for a refund on the crossover. And I'm going to be honest with you, we ain't getting that. I don't care who you are. We are not ever going to get a refund in Grand Summoners Global unless they messed up so bad the unit that is advertised, let's say like Ainz, isn't even in the banner. And even then, we might be pushing it for a refund and plus the way how the overlord crossover is currently being handled with the bugs that we have in the game with dealing with the summon animations and with the fact that awakenings aren't coming out and all that um it feels very rushed and just mishandled and i felt like if this was on the japanese version of the game this wouldn't even be an issue especially with the summit animation bug like if animations were bugged on the japanese version this game would have went into emergency maintenance and they would have got that thing fixed asap because that's a very big part of a gotcha game and if your animations are bugged when summoning that's a big deal but how do i feel about Shaltier, you know, I got her, uh, this character can't be awoken, and I'm using her, you know, was she fine, was she okay? I said this in the original editing of this video, this unit feels so incomplete at the moment. It's not that she doesn't deal damage, her damage is pretty solid at this point, but it's like, feels like one of the damage dealers we would have got within the last six months, if that makes sense. She's not really doing anything special, and I'm waiting for her ascension for her to actually get some, you know, a little bit of uniqueness to her. But even then, let's be honest here, she's a damage dealer. The only thing you're going to be seeing is her having a clone and then her hitting for a little bit more damage. Apart from that, we've seen this kind of unit a thousand times over at this point. And yeah, she didn't really interest me too much, and right now, I'm probably just going to be having her chill in the box until she gets ascended later on. Then once she gets ascended, I probably will use her quite a bit, just because she's going to be an insane magic damage dealer. But with the way how I'm currently feeling with Shaltier, it does have me extremely worried about the Ains and Gamma release. It's like, oh, are they going to do the similar thing? Are we not going to be able to awaken Gamma? Or is Light Summoner's Row coming with part two, which is, you know, my biggest hope? If it's not, then that's going to really suck, but I would hate for the stuff to be like it is. I also hope that the summit animations will be fixed by then. And they may be fixed right now, but I don't think so. I haven't seen any type of data download or update or anything come out. Hopefully, if that's not fixed, it will be fixed by the time part two comes out. And one thing that I'm really hoping for is that we don't get the same treatment during the Fate crossover. If Fate has a similar fate, <laughs> I really don't want it to come out till it's actually ready. Overlord is just such a disappointing mess. Of course, I haven't tried the new Summoner's Road yet at the time you're recording this video. I'm probably going to be doing that today when I'm recording this video. So Monday, this video should be out like on Tuesday or something. But yeah, tell me down below if you guys feel the same way about this crossover. And how are you using Shaltier? You know, are you guys liking Shaltier in her current state? Or are you just not even using her? Maybe... I'm too critical, maybe I am uh, too bashful, maybe I hold these guys too high to the standard, but I would at least hope they would be able to release a crossover, as it was in JP, and if there were any bugs, they would get it fixed instantly, but, you know, this is global we're talking about, so the famous saying still goes, it is what it is at the end of the day. Either way though, that's gonna be it for this one, thank you all again for coming out, and last but not least, you guys already know, don't forget to drink water.